Hi, I'm Anna at the Sewing Studio and I've got the lovely Hannah from Benina with me. We are going to talk you through the Benina 570 QE. Yeah, I think it's a really stylish, well-designed machine and it's packed full of loads of really brilliant features and functions which we're going to have a look at. So this is the quilted edition but it's actually a great all-rounder. It's got a great stitch package so you can do anything from making a quilt to making a tailored jacket. It covers all the bases. So where does the 570 sit within the Benina range? So this is a mid-range machine but it's still, um, you know, still quite a big machine, so it's still really great for quilting. You've still got quite a lot of room. So you have eight and a half inches to the right of the needle, but we also have over four inches high. So if we were working on a bigger quilt, we've got plenty of room to get the fabric in. Um, it comes with the nice table, so a large table that really supports your projects. Um, now this model has a nine millimeter stitch width, so we've got some really nice um, wide decorative stitches we can use. So let me just show you that there. So if I go into a decorative stitch, we can see that they're nine mil, so they really are quite wide. And this also means you can have a nice wide satin stitch if you want. And um, one of the other things I just wanted to talk about while we're talking about size is the Benina bobbins. So the Benina bobbins hold 70% more thread than a standard bobbin. So as we know, there's nothing more annoying <laughs> than running out of thread that can drive you mad. But with this, that's going to happen a lot less. So I just want to show you those. One thing I'd like to talk about is the Benina hook. So this is the Benina hook, and this actually forms the stitch in the machine. Now, if I give that to you, if you just want to feel the weight it's of that. Heavy. Now, yeah. yeah, I just want to show you this because um, it just shows you the level of quality you're getting within a Benina. So this is a solid piece of metal that's then milled into this shape and hand polished. And because it's so beautifully precise, it gives you a really wonderful quality of stitch. And that's something that Beninas are really known for, that, that beautiful stitch. So navigating the machine is done through the touch screen. So just talk us through that. Yeah, so we have the... Um, 4.3 inch colour touch screen and this makes the machine really easy to use so it's centrally located so when you're sat in front of it you just need to glance up and you've got all that information available. We have all the different stitches in um, separate folders and there's one, over 1450 stitches so there's a, a stitch option for you know all projects. We have them, as I say, we have them grouped together. So we've got all our practical stitches and we can just scroll up and down to find the stitch we want. Or we can pop the screen open again so we've got a better view of all the options available. Uh, so we have all our practical stitches. We have a lovely range of decorative stitches and they're in separate folders all grouped together. So for instance, we'll have our floral stitches, satin stitches, so they're easy to find. Then we have our fonts all grouped together buttonholes and all our quilting stitches and we'll have a little look at those later. What I wanted to show you is if we select a stitch, so we've selected a zigzag, all the stitches have a default setting so you can just select a stitch and start to sew. But if you want to edit them, the wonderful thing about a Benina is you can really fine tune all those stitches, you can get them just how you want them on your project. So if I wanted to change the width, I can, I can use my dial here or my length and I can change my needle positions really easily just by using the button and we have 11 different needle positions. And then if I wanted to set it back to, um, to the default, I can just press clear and we go back to the beginning. So loads of nice options. We can change the tension. We can have a look at what foot we're going to use. So uh, let's say I had a straight stitch and I was gonna go and choose uh, foot, uh, sorry, foot four, so I was going to put a zip in. Let's see where that is, find that there. If I come out of that and we have a look on screen, now you'll notice that that stitch has gone red. Now that's because if I was using foot four, it would hit the foot. And obviously we don't want that to no. happen. We don't want to break our needle. So there are lots of lovely features built in to help protect our, ourselves and protect the needle so we can't make any mistakes. So. I think the, um, the screens are, are, are very clear and simple to use, so they're a real advantage. So there's lots of features within the touch screen, but there's also lots of features on the machine as well, isn't there? Just to make the sewing experience more pleasurable and easy. Yeah, definitely. Beninas should be really smooth and easy to use. They should be a joy to use, and I really think they are. 
I mean, just some of the little features, like we've got the built-in needle threader. So when I engage my needle threader, it automatically lowers the presser foot and gets my needle in exactly the right position. So it makes it really easy to use. Um, we've got the lovely built-in scissors. So when I finish the seam, I can just press my scissors and I can even program those to do a little knot before they cut. So that, you know, makes everything again, nice and smooth. Um, I just wanted to mention a little bit about our presser feet. So the thing I love about the presser feet is you can put them on with one hand. You know, they're really, really easy to put on and take off and then really nice solid feet. So they're beautifully crafted solid feet. And, um, you know, there is a foot for everything. You get a lovely basic range, but for any project you're going to do, there'll be a specialist foot that's really going to help you with that. And yeah. <laughs> so much so, Vanina produced a book all about their feet, gives you details of what's available, how to use them, just to get the best out of your projects. Because for each foot, there's so many different um, sort of techniques you can do with each yeah. one. You really do need to, you know, get the most out of it. That, that um, book is brilliant. So um, while we talk about the, the feet, um, I think, when you use a banana, one of the things you really notice is how lovely the fabric feeds yeah, through. Sure. It really sort of purrs and just goes through nice and easily. So that's because we have the presser feet, but we also have the, um, our amazing banana feed dogs. So what happens is when you form a stitch, the feed dogs come up and your presser foot comes down, but it's a box feed system. So th what happens is it comes up and it supports your fabric through the entire stitch. So it really supports it on its journey out of the machine. And that means that um, it, you very rarely get any pulling or puckering, anything like that. And, you know, I think if you sit down and use a banana, you really notice that, you know, you don't have to... Um, guide it a lot it's just a very gentle guide and the fabric will flow through so i think the banana feed dogs really make a big difference and there's also the knee lift yes you know this is my favorite <laughs> i do my favorite accessory <laughs> on the banana so yeah this is the banana knee lift and what it does is well it's called the free hand system and that's what it does it frees your hands so if you're um, sewing and you've got your needle down or you just need to raise your presser foot a little bit, instead of you know, reaching for the, the button or using your hand wheel, you can use your knee and it, you push the knee lift to the side and it raises the foot and lowers the feed dogs. And that can actually make your sewing up to 20% more efficient. So it really does make a big difference. And it just means you can keep your hands on your work and your eyes on your needle. And I think that, that's really helpful, especially if you're working on quite slippery fabric, mm. something like that. You want to, you know, keep everything under control. So knee lift, my favourite. But if for some reason you don't love the knee lift, <laughs> we also have the built-in hovers. So they do the same thing, but they're an automatic function on the machine. So we have... Um, needle up hover what that does is when i lower my presser foot the uh, presser foot goes down and then it comes up slightly and that just lets me position so i get my fabric in just the right place so you know if you're quilting or you're starting a seam or you're you know doing something where you need to be really precise it yeah. just allows you to just move your fabric get it in just the right spot then when you put your foot on the foot pedal clamps down and you can start to sew so that's one hover then we have the um, needle down hover, which means if I stop with my needle down, automatically the foot will lift and allow me to pivot. So if I'm doing something like a plique where you might be you know, pivoting a lot, say going around a circle or something, that's great because it just automatically does it yeah. and allows you to move through. So just those two little features on their own, I think are just brilliant and make using the machine so much more easy and smooth. And we don't always think about the internal workings of, of the machine. So like you're explaining about the hook. Um, now, all Bedina machines have a DC motor. Yes. So the DC motor, that's a direct current motor. Yep. And what that means is you're getting constant power through the machine. So that's really great if you're working with really fine fabrics or really heavy fabrics. But you're going to have a constant flow of power. So you're not going to, um, it's just going to be, again, nice and smooth. But because of that constant flow of power, it means you can sew one stitch at a time or you can go up to a thousand stitches per minute. And you really notice that, I think, when you're using a Benina, you know, you might get to the end of a seam and think, oh, I just want one more stitch. Yeah. And you've got that confidence to know you can just gently put your foot on the foot pedal and it will do one stitch 
or as I say, if you're working on a you know a big project and you just want a bit of speed, you can put your foot fully down and away you go. So I do think the DC motor is a really big advantage with with the 570 quilters edition. And the foot pedal is more than just a foot pedal, isn't it? Yeah, so the foot pedal actually has a kickback function. Now, what that means is if we set needle down and we are, you know, we're focusing on our work, we've got our hands on our work, but we want the needle to come up, what we can do is we, we could use our hand wheel if we wanted, but we can use the kickback function. So on the foot pedal, if we use the heel to kick back, what it will do is raise or lower the needle. So again, you can do one stitch at a time using that if you wanted yeah. to, or you could just raise the needle. Um, it also is a programmable foot control. So I can change it from that function to um, have it to not cut and raise the foot if I want to. So that's really good if you're working on sort of um, projects where you're doing a lot of little bits maybe yeah. and you want to keep, keep going. And again, all these things just mean that I can keep my eyes and my hands exactly where I need them to be um, near the needle and it just makes it all smoother. So aside from all the great features, what else makes this a quilter's edition? Okay, so we get um, foot 97D. So this is a quarter inch foot. So this side of the foot is a quarter of an inch. So that's great for getting that perfect quarter inch seam. And it's a D foot. So that means that we can put the jewel feed in. So we can just lower the jewel feed in and that slides into the back of the foot. So the jewel feed is a bit like, uh, it's like a walking foot, but you get much better visibility so you can still really see the needle. And what it does is, if you've got your quilt sandwich, so you've got your three layers, sometimes if you don't use um, a jewel feed foot, you can one layer can creep, it can slightly move. Yeah. So with the jewel feed, it's feeding from the bottom, so we get the wonderful feed dogs, but then we've also got a feed from the top. So that just helps carry your fabric f f um, through and it flows nice and smoothly. So that's the jewel feed and it fits in the back of the D foot. So this is great for, you know, for your quarter inch, um, quarter inch seams. Um, Another thing I like about this foot is it comes with the guide. So this means you can uh, butt your seam up to the edge of the guide and again, it uh, keeps everything nicely in line. We have some lovely markings on the foot. Um, so we've got a quarter of an inch marking on the foot. So that shows you how to keep in line and that flows into the table as well. So all of this keeps, helps keeping everything straight. Um, we do also have the wonderful uh, quilters folder here. So in this folder, we've got all the different quilting stitches. I just want to show you 1301. So if you're piecing, this is a quilted securing stitch. So this does a quarter of an inch of tiny stitches, and then it goes into the normal stitch length, whatever you've just uh, chosen. And then at the end, you can press um, quick reverse and it does a quarter of an inch at the end. Now this is great if you're piecing, because sometimes if you're piecing, and you say you leave it for a few days, when you go back to it, it might have slightly unraveled. Yeah. But if I've used that, it, I can guarantee it's not going to unravel. It's still still going to be together, but it's not going, there isn't a notch, you know, it's not going to be any bulk, which we don't want. So that's a nice feature. But we do have a lovely range of stitches. So let's just pop that open. So we've got so many stitches per inch. We've got some lovely blanket stitches, uh, stitches for crazy patchwork. You know, loads of great options there. Look, they keep on coming. Loads of really, really <laughs> lovely designs. So, um, you know, and they look nice on screen, but when you stitch them out, they, they do really, really yeah. come to life. So, um, yeah, lots of great options there in my quilting folder. Um, when it comes to free motion, I know we have your most favourite piece of kit. Yes, <laughs> love the VSR, makes everyone look good. So, when you're free motion quilting, um, one of the aims is to keep all your stitches the same length. And that actually can be really, really difficult. It takes, a, you know, years and years of practice and yeah. experience to get it looking really, really smooth. So Benina thought, how can we help our customers? And they came up with the Benina Stitch Regulator. Now, I always use my BSR because it makes everything look so much better. So what is it? What it does is, we'll just take it out of the tin. So it comes in this nice tin. It's a foot that you attach in the same way as your normal feet, but then you plug it in at the back. And it just, it keeps all your stitches regular for you. So it's got a sensor underneath and it monitors how quickly you move your fabric. So if I move my fabric really quickly, speeds the motor up and keeps those stitches even, slowly it slows them down. And the thing I love about this is, you know, 
you spent weeks and weeks piecing your beautiful quilt top together and then you want to quilt it and that can be quite nerve-wracking mm. sometimes because you, you know you don't want to mess it up but with this it takes all the anxiety out of it and you can really focus on being creative and enjoying the process so I think it does make a huge difference I love my BSR I'd, I would always use it so it's great so although this is a quilter's edition it is still an all-round machine isn't it good for lots of different projects yeah, I mean, I think lots of people who say they don't just make quilts, you know, they might do a True. bit of dressmaking, they might make things for the home. So it's really important to have a machine that you can do all of those things on. And you certainly can with the 570. Um, I just want to have a little look at the, some of the stitches we have. So if I close that. Um, yeah, I think I mentioned we've got, you know, all our practical stitches. We've got lots of decorative stitches. If we select a decorative stitch, uh, something like our lovely tulip here, we can go in, I mean, we can change the width and length and needle position, but we can also go into information and we can do things like we can program pattern repeats, we can um, mirror it if we want to, and we're even hiding down here, we have a little triple stitch function. So that means when we stitch it out normally, it will do one stitch in the design yeah. for each stitch, but if we go for a triple stitch, it will do three. So that really makes them stand out and pop. So if you were sewing it on something like a velvet or boiled wool you might want something a bit stronger you know a bit of a more oomph in your stitch so you can use the triple stitch there which is great but um one thing i really wanted to show you is buttonholes on this machine because beninas do make a beautiful buttonhole you know whether you're doing that on a garment or the back of a cushion something like that so if we have a little look at how you create a buttonhole i'm going to select my folder so this has uh, all the different types of buttonholes and there's lots of different options and if I wasn't sure what any of those buttonholes were for, I can press question mark and tap on it and it will tell me. So this is saying this one is a narrow buttonhole designed for a lightweight fabric. So if I come out of that, I'm just going to go for a standard buttonhole. I've got my buttonhole foot on, my foot 3A. Then I can go into information and I can press here the buttonhole measuring button icon. Just tap on that. And then what I can do is I can get my button I pop it on screen and then I can turn my dial I'm just at a little bit of a funny angle, but until the little yellow line is round the edge, take that off. And then that's measured my button for me. So it's saying my button is 17.5 mil. It has a mil either side for the, for the width of the button. And then I can just go and stitch it out. I don't so need clever. to do anything else. So I can just put my fabric underneath and stitch it out and it will remember that and each buttonhole will be exactly the same size. And um, on a Benina, they always sew the beads of the buttonhole in the same direction. So you're not gonna get any warping. It's gonna be nice and square and neat. So that's great. Um, oh, you see, I get a bit excited about the buttonholes, but <laughs> another great thing that we have on the buttonholes is we can also, if we just go back a stage, we can also change the slip width. So if you think sometimes if you're working on a bag or a heavy coating, you might have quite a thick button, you know, they come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. True. And then you need to alter the slip width to, so it, you know, it's smooth when it passes through the buttonhole. So to do that, um, we go into our, uh, the slip width screen there and I can adjust it and I can go up to two mil. So that makes it really, really quite wide if I had a really thick button. So, you know, I think Benina, you know, they have thought of everything when it comes to buttons. Um, and there are also a, um, a couple of uh, um, accessories you can have with buttonholes, which help if you've got really thick fabric or uneven areas. So um, they can be found in the big book of feet as well. So yeah, <laughs> referring back to that. So you're really passionate about your buttonholes. Lots of people that are really passionate about personalization. So how do we achieve that with this machine? Yeah, I think if you've made a lovely gift for someone and you want to make it extra special, then it's really nice to be able to personalize it. So um, on this machine, we have um, lots of lovely fonts here. So we have eight different options and um, we can go into combination mode, which I can tap on down here. Then let's say I was going to use this script font. That's my favorite font. It looks really nice when it's stitched out. So I can go in and I can expand the screen and then it's just like a keyboard really. So let's say I was going to write Benina. I could do a capital B and it's all going to enter along this line here. Then I can go into my lowercase so I can enter the rest. So we're just going to scroll, move my R gone. 
so we can finish oh, entering all our letters. And then if we want a space, we go into characters and choose a character. And we've also got numbers, so we can put our numbers in. So I'm going to put a 570. So obviously you could put more exciting things in the machine <laughs> name, I was thinking. And you can also put some of the decorative stitches in, you know, any of the stitches you can put in. So you can create some really nice sequences. But just to show you, so it enters all in at the top and then we can minimise our screen back and we've got it all there. And we can program it to do one repeat of that. Press go, it will stitch the whole lot out and stop. So really, really easy to use. Now, but um, on this machine, so the width is nine mil so it's a nine mil stitch width so those letters are going to be a uh, maximum of nine mil but you can make them smaller if you want and um, what about if we want to make them bigger than the nine millimeters okay so if you want larger lettering then another lovely feature of this machine is you can add an embroidery unit so if you add an embroidery unit you've got the option of much larger fonts so there are seven fonts that come with the machine and you can go quite big then with the um, with the size of lettering. So you might want to put something, you know, a monogram on a, a sweatshirt or some large lettering on the back of a sweatshirt, that kind of thing. Uh, you know, you've, you have a lot more options. But I think if you're adding an embroidery unit, then wow, you've got so much more scope. You know, there's all the wonderful built-in designs. You can create your own designs, buy designs. It's a whole other area you're entering into, which can be loads of fun. Now, I know education is really important to Benina. Um, so talk us through the, the features that the machine has that help us as sewers to get the most out of it. Yeah, definitely. Education is really important. You know, we want our customers to know how to use their machines and to really enjoy using them. So there are a few things on the machines that are very helpful. So if we have a look, we can go into our home button and we have this icon here, the little book. Now that's tutorials. So if I tap on my tutorials there and say I wanted to ask a question about threading, I can do, let's say winding the bobbin, then it's got all these lovely animations here that show us exactly what we need to do. So um, we don't need to go to the manual, we've got it all on screen. But having said that, they do have very, um, they have excellent manuals that have got loads of useful information in them. I mean, I know some people <laughs> love a manual and some people don't, but they are really good. And, you know, most of the answers, well, all the answers can be found in the manual. Um, I just wanted to show you one other great feature I love on this is Creative Consultant. So this is the picture of the uh, dressmaker's dummy here. Now, what this means is, let's say I was working on a fabric I'm not used to, or I was, um, you know, a technique I haven't had much experience in. What we can do is we can go in and we can choose the fabric. So I could say oh, I'm going to use a jersey. I could select the technique I'm going to use. So I could be putting a zip in and it will tell me exactly what I need to do. So it tells me the needle, the thread, the stitch, the foot, do I need stabiliser? It gives me all this information and then I can press the tick and it sets it all up for me, which I think is great. So it's actually altered my tension uh, it's, and it's changed my foot pressure and it's moved my needle position over. So it's set me up so I can get the, the best results w um, working with that fabric and that, that technique. So I think that's really, really useful. So yeah, I quite often use Creative Consultant. Uh, I think that's, that's great. Now, if all that wasn't enough, yeah. I have lots of customers tell me about the Benina tuition days, how informative they are, how much fun they have. Yeah, I mean, we love the tuition days. So when you buy Benina, you can come and see us at our tuition centre in London. And we've got nice small groups and friendly tutors. And we just go through all the features and functions. So we want you to know exactly what your machine does, because, you know, you never know where your sewing is going to take you, you know, what True. you're going to get into five, ten years down the line, you know, we hope you're going to have these machines for a long time, so we want you to get the most out of them. And the days are fun, they're really nice, um, you know, all the, all the people have the same machines, so they can discuss their machines, and you know, what kind of things they're making, so it, yeah, it's a, it's a really lovely day. So you get a great basic range of accessories, everything you need to get started. Um, I just wanted to show you, so we have the... Um, the accessory box and that actually clips onto the back which I think is great so you can put all your accessories inside here and then when you're not using them you can attach it to the machine and put your soft cover on uh, which yeah our soft cover which fits <laughs> over the top so that just keeps everything really neat so I love that 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 clips on 
Um, obviously it comes with the table, your foot control and your knee lift, which we've looked at. Then in terms of feet, um, we have our uh, reverse pattern foot one is on the machine. And then we have 1D with the dual feed. Then we have foot um, 2A, so that's our very overlock foot. We have foot 3A, which is our buttonhole foot. Then we have um, a zipper foot, a, a 4D, so we can engage our dual feed with that. And we have a foot 20R open embroidery foot. Now, I love the fact that this foot's cut open at the front. So this is really great if you're doing a plique or you're following a pattern. You know, you can really see where you're going with that foot. So that's a favourite. And then we have 97D, which we looked at a moment ago with the guide. It comes with a, a range of needles and a little bit of thread to, to get you started. So I think, you know, everything you'd want to, to get going. Yeah. yeah. And don't forget the BSR. Oh, no, how could I have forgotten I know. the BSR? <laughs> yes, and you've got the wonderful BSR, which is great. We love it. So all in all with Benina, you really are getting a high quality machine that is built to last. Yeah, definitely. And that's backed up by the Benina seven year warranty that you get with this machine. Yeah. Well, thank you, Hannah, for taking us through this machine. You're welcome. It's been really good fun. Thank you. And don't forget, here at the sewing studio, we're here to help you. So if you want a reminder of all the things that the machine comes with, its features and functions, take a look at our website. All the details are there for you. If you have any questions, need any advice, just get in touch, pick up the phone, send us an email, pop on live chat. We're here to help. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you again soon. Thank you. Bye bye.